Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and I'm about to show you the most powerful Pokemon in Pokemon Masters, the credit card. Today, I'm gonna do something absolutely insane and spend $100 on this game and see what I can get from throwing such a large amount of money at this mobile game. If you're excited to watch me throw my money away, make sure you smash that like button right now. It helps me out and also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And let's jump right into this and get started. So in the shop, we have three different options. We have the Daily Discount, Sync Pair Scout, and Sync Pair Scout times 10. Now, the Daily Discount is the cheapest option. You could buy it for 100 gems and get one trainer, but you can only do it once a day. And the thing is, with the Daily Discount, you can only use the paid gems. So this is like the paid option. I'm kind of upset you can't do the Daily Discount with free gems. I really think it should be that way, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and purchase some gems right now. So we have a few different options, 100 for $1, 400 for $4, and it goes all the way down to 9,800, which looks like the best deal, for $80. I could think of so many better ways to spend $80, but here I am spending it on a virtual currency in a mobile game. Ooh, I like this. There's a little warning that pops up. You've purchased zero gems this month. Please be careful not to buy too many. It's kind of nice that they have warnings so you don't spend too much money. All right, so let's see. I wonder if $100 worth of gems is too much money. Let's go ahead and buy these gems right now. You purchased a product. Wow, I just spent $80 on this game, but here we go. We got to buy a little bit more. So there's no $20 option, which is kind of disappointing. So I have to do a little math to get up to $100 here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy one of the $13 package, one of the $4 package, and three of the $0.99 cent packages, and that'll get me to about $100 spent. All right, so I think I got to about $97 of purchases, and my card is not letting me buy anymore. I think my bank is kind of panicking, saying, why are you spending all this money on this game? So I guess we'll cut it off there for now, and I'll try to purchase the last $3 later. But let's go ahead and actually use these gems that I spent so much money on and try to scout some trainers. So there's lots of different trainers that we can get in this game, and what we're aiming for here is those five-star trainers. Now, the five-star trainers have the lowest chance of you actually getting them with only a 7% rate. The four stars are a little bit more common with a 20% rate and the three stars, you know, you're going to get them like every single time. They have a 73% rate. So yeah, we're not going to go for those. I would love to get, this is what I want to have by the end of this. And I better have this. I spent way too much money on this. I want to have Chris and Totodile. I'd also be pretty happy if I got Phoebe and Dusclops. I heard that Phoebe and Dusclops is like one of the best characters to have in Pokemon Masters, so I would love to have that. Other than that, I'd be pretty happy getting any of the five-star trainers. So let's start things off. Let's go for the daily discounts. We have to use our paid gems here. We have 11,700 gems. Ooh, all right, let's go ahead and do our first scout for the day. What are we gonna get here? I love this little cutscene. So there's a little cutscene that plays when you actually go and try to scout a trainer. You have to swipe the Porygon phone down into this little machine, and then it'll try to recruit a trainer. So who are we going to get from our first scout? Look at this animation go. All right, who's that coming? I see flashing colors, and we just got ourselves Minna! Kind of an irrelevant character, not who I was really hoping to get, to be quite honest. So let's do another scout now. I want to do just the regular sync pair scout, and I want to see which gem it's going to use. So we have non-paid gems and paid gems. In the top corner of the screen, it combines them together, but here it breaks them down separately. So is it going to take from my paid or my non-paid? Let's find out. And also, let's see if we get one of those five-star trainers. Again, Chris. Give me Chris. Swipe down that Pori phone. Who are we going to get here? Oh, we got Janine, or Janine, wow. Knows Cross Poison, Venom Drench, Dire Hit, and Move Like the Wind. What is that, Move Like the Wind? Sharply raises the user's speed and evasiveness, nice. All right, so let's check back. All right, so it looks like it prioritizes my non-paid gems first. That's good to know. All right, so now let's go ahead and do 10 scouts all at once. I've never done this before, so I wonder how, what this is going to look like. Are 10 trainers going to come running at me at once? This is probably going to be wild, and I feel like here, we have to get one of those five-star trainers. We have not gotten lucky enough to get one yet, but let's see who we get now. Come on, Pori Phone, give me those five-star trainers. Give me Chris. Give me Chris. Give me Phoebe. 
All right, that's the trainer, and that door is opening, and we just got Winona. Ooh, and Brawly, all the Hoenn leaders right now. Ooh, Brendan, that's nice. That's a five-star trainer. Now, the weird thing is, right now in the Pokemon Masters demo, usually you should be able to evolve Trico into, like, further stages. Right now, Brendan cannot evolve his Trico for some reason. I'm sure when the game is fully released, you'll be able to do that. Wait, we just got Winona again? Alright, so here we get to see, if we get a duplicate of a trainer, it levels up our sync move. That kind of sucks, I barely have any of the trainers and I just got a duplicate already. And here is Rourke and Kranidos, not who I'm looking for. Ooh, Tate, I think I already had Tate before though. Yes, so we're leveling up, and <laughs> we just got Liza too. Who are you? Marlin, okay. Ooh, Crasher Wake, I remember Crasher Wake. You are Marley from Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Nice! So not bad overall. We did get one five-star trainer out of there. Brendan's really, really good, so I am kind of happy to get him. We're not done yet. Let's do some more Sync Pair Scouts times 10. I really, really want to get Chris. But the annoying thing is, as you can see, we can still get duplicates. So everybody I just got, I can still get them again. Spending all this money does not increase my chances of getting one specific person. And that's a risk you have to take when you spend your money in a game like this. Like, there we go again. We just got, I think that's Liza. Yeah, we just got Liza again. Ooh, Cheryl. She's from Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum as well. Who in the world are you, Ramos? I don't remember this guy at all. A Crasher Awake again. We're getting all the duplicates. Uh, Bryson, the Bryson man. Wow. Oh my god. I'm gonna like max up Tate and Liza because I keep getting them over and over again. Lieutenant Surge, Agatha. Nice, a four star trainer finally. You are Roxanne from the Hoenn region, and we're getting uh, Mina again. Wow, so four of those were duplicates. That's kind of terrible. Let's go again. Come on, Phoebe or Chris. Phoebe or Chris. Give me one of those, and I'll be happy. I spent a lot of money here. And oop, I'm getting a phone call. Let's decline that. Don't interrupt my video. I thought my phone was on do not disturb mode, but whatever. All right, Cheryl and Blissey. Mina again. Ugh, Crasher Awake again. Ooh, who are you? Roxy. Oh, she's from Pokemon Black and White, right? Cheryl again. Oh, uh, this guy's new. We got, uh, Sophocles. The same person again. We literally just got you, and here we go again. I think her name is Candice from Diamond and Pearl. We just got, uh, Bryson once again. We're getting, like... I'm done. I'm done. I am so done. All the duplicates. This time, we got seven duplicates. There are 60 trainers in this game, and somehow, someway, I just got 7 duplicates from that last scout. So here we go, this is the last 10 scout that we can do, because I'm running out of gems. When you do this, you spend your gems quickly. I used all of my free gems, now I'm purely on the paid gems, so we're about to wipe out this account. This is definitely $100 worth of scouting. So let's see, this is last- blah, come on, Bryson again? Ooh, this guy, Drake from the Hoenn Elite Four. Nice, a four-star trainer. Uh, this guy, the Grass Gym Leader. Totally forgot his name. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, we did not just get Liza five times! And there's Candace again. Up, oh, we got Janine again. We got Mina again. And we're getting her again. And we're getting you again. And we're maxing out Mina too! Yeah! Maxing out the same trainers. <laughs> that time we only got one brand new trainer. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing. Alright, let's do one final Sync Pair Scout. I have 460 gems left. This is gonna cost 300 gems. Let's go ahead and do this and see who our last trainer is. And watch me now get like Chris or Phoebe. Let's see, who are we getting here? Come on. Give me somebody new. Let's just end this on somebody new, and I'll be very satisfied. Uh, Blaine. Do I have Blaine? I don't remember if I have Blaine or not. Oh, I guess he's new. Alright. And just like that, I just spent $100 worth of gems in the matter of like 5 minutes. So that goes to show you guys, these gacha games can be dangerous. I went in there trying to get Chris, I wanted Phoebe, and I didn't get any of them. Instead, I got Tate and Liza like 5 times each. I'm pretty sad right now, not gonna lie, but if you smash that like button, I'll feel a little bit better. 
And this is what my collection is looking like after spending $100 on this game. I have 31 different sync pairs. There are 60 sync pairs in the game. I think I still have nine more sync pairs to unlock just from playing the story mode. So that should bring me up to about 40 sync pairs, but that still means there's 20 trainers that I don't have after spending 100 bucks. Here, let's go play around with some of these new characters that I just got. I'm using Drake, I'm using Agatha, and I'm using Brendan, a champion, and two Elite Four members. And let's go ahead fight Will over here, another Elite Four member. So I'm gonna use Dire Hit, X Special. Let's go for a Hypnosis, put something to sleep over here. We'll use another X Special. Now, I'm still not that great at battling in this game. I have to get used to it. It's very, very different than your traditional main series Pokemon game. It's still turn-based, but there's also a little bit of a speed element to battling as well. You want to attack as quickly as possible, but also coordinate your moves so you get those strong sync moves out, like right here, where we're going for Righteous Heart Dragon Claw on that Zatu, which is going to take it out. Now we have two Pokemon the knockout and let's go for Bullet Seed. Ooh, wow, that did so much damage. That did a lot. And now all that uh, Will's team has left is that Slugma. We're gonna go for Bullet Seed. Now the interesting thing here is normally in a Pokemon game, Fire resist grass. However, in Pokemon Masters, Pokemon don't resist moves. So that Bullet Seed just did neutral damage and did quite a lot. And we got our whole team up to level 10 there. Not bad. Not bad at all. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed watching me throw $100 at this game and getting Tate, Liza, and Mina like five times each. Come on, I'm still mad about that. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't given it one already, give it a thumbs up right now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon Masters content. And my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.